into more Modern Combat 4 information. I apologize if I sound a bit sick. There's been something going around it, and apparently, um, I'm one of the last people to get it in my family, which always, always, always happens to me. But anyways, um, I'm going to get right into it here. We have one new specialization. There's also one more on Splitter's website, Modern Combat 4 wbcom which is going to be in the description of this video. I actually found out that my I can actually post links, so uh, yeah, you can just tap on that. But uh, this kind of influences my decision. Um, I think the only thing that I like out of this entire class, the entire strong and powerful uh, class, is the military tactician. Military support calls require one less kill or capture. And uh, again, that supports the theory that, you know, captures, defends, etc. Well, not defends, but... Flag capping, returning flags, diffusing bombs, uh, planting bombs, etc., will get you uh, kill streaks or put you in, you know, a point streak. So that's pretty awesome. Everything else just looks kind of normal. Grenade belt, explosive expert, you know, everybody has that in every class. C4 just looks kind of gay, although I do like that it's at a bit of a higher rank. And the incendiary device is also pretty stupid. It says puts down a device that creates a fire for 30 seconds, ideal to block paths. Yeah, for 30 seconds, so. Uh, when looking to choose a specialization, I would recommend looking at the long term, not just what looks cool. So out of this, what would be the long term? Privilege. After being killed, gain a, bon gain a bonus point to health points and speed. What? That's going to last you maybe a minute, minute and a half. That's not going to last you very long. Military Tactician, however, uh, is awesome. But the thing is, eventually you'll get good enough at this game where one kill doesn't really matter. It's it's a little better to go for something a bit more challenging. People that get, you know, nukes or moabs or whatever is going to be in Modern Combat 4, if they're running Military Tactician, people who don't have Military Tactician that are watching the video are going to say, oh, it wasn't a real nuke, wasn't a real moab, etc. So uh, I'm probably not going to be choosing this class, but it's still pretty interesting. Um, grenade Belt, you know, same old, same old. C4 Explosive. Deploys a device that, once triggered, explodes in a large area. Be really cool if you could throw them. Uh, also, I noticed one more thing, too. Um, the, the movements seem relatively the same, but I noticed that it looks like you can hurdle over objects in multiplayer. Um, and also, I also noticed the fact that your slides are much shorter, so that's pretty awesome. I'd love to be able to slide a bit more and not feel so vulnerable. So, no new grenades were added, which I was kind of surprised that the incendiary was not in the grenade section, but it's all good. Uh, the big leap was the weapons that were released, and I don't know if this was here previously, I might have to go check this out uh, in some of my past videos, but, you know, primary weapon, primary weapon, and then down by some machine guns, you have secondary weapon. It's pretty interesting. So, um... I'm not sure if the ops is going to be considered a uh, assault rifle. It couldn't possibly be. There's no way. Maybe if they did something to it, because uh, I yeah, there's no way it's a it's a um, assault rifle. So I also have seen the MC81 before in a couple different places. So you know that kind of it kind of deserves a spot, but. Like in Modern Combat 2, the uh, the MP5 here was used as a secondary, so I'm kind of curious. might be really interesting to see what they're going to be doing with the secondaries, and then right here is where the launchers are going to be. We already had like three launchers released. But first, let's go through these assault rifles. So, we have the uh, SOARX, the Charb Tech, the... the this is going to be ridiculously difficult. Oh, by the way, that's a new assault rifle. It's going to be ridiculously hard to... You know, hey, sup guys, do you know Sinathma? And uh, bringing you some SoCars A1 gameplay. No, that's just, that sounds gay. We need to, we need to assign some names to these guns. So, we have the Charb Tech 28 and the Charb Tech v Vect 9. So, I don't know, I'm not going to come up with some gay code name or whatever, but we have the UFIA PSD2. Uh, so the damage looks really relatively small, like l relatively low damage, but I guess not really anything compared to all the other ones. If you can notice, the only one with the most damage is the Charp Tech 28. Charp Tech has the capacity of 60 bullets, and it has a damage rate that's higher than most shotguns. So um, it's even higher than a couple uh, sniper rifles. So this gun is going to be probably super duper overpowered. 60 bullets is insanity. Uh, the rate of fire looks pretty good. Um... Although the handling and mobility are a bit smaller, that's fine. I don't need to run very fast if I can slaughter people from across-map. 
This gun looks very, very similar to the G36C, also a little bit like the uh, prototype. And then these ones just look kind of odd. This one, the Charptech Vec9, follows an M4 design, whereas the Socars A1 was following more of the ACM design, so... <sighs> I'm not sure. We have a couple other cool things, though, that were added in the weapons category. No new shotguns. We did get a new sniper rifle, however, so we're up to two now. That better not be all we're getting. <laughs> so, right here we have the A6338. The 338 caliber sniper, sniper accuracy sniper is industry prototype. The A6 is a bolt action sniper rifle that is used by the best marksman in the world. My biggest problem with this gun, look at its damage. Its damage is high, but it's not full. If there are going to be two hit kills, I'm going to be really, really upset. Also, we have the E24 SASR, which is a semi-automatic sniper rifle, and the damage is lower than that of a assault rifle. And that is insane. They better make these things like one-hit kills. If, they're, if one bullet of these things is very similar to that of an assault rifle, then we're either all doomed or it's going to take a very, very long time to kill people with a sniper rifle. Either way, ha, <sighs> moving on. So that was all they had added. Uh, by the way, launchers and a new map, new perks, etc. are all on Splitter's website. Again, it's going to be in the description of this video. Um, no new military support was added. Uh, so that kind of stinks. But I might be making one more specialization video. It's probably going to be really, really short. Or I could just do it now. So um, I'll wait till actually the information is released on here before I, I tell everybody. Just so I'm positive that everybody can hear it or understand it etc so i was really interested with the secondary weapons here um i think triple f wait we forgot to see if it was three burst um i really like the three round burst idea that's awesome to me uh it's got an 18 round capacity though so i'm not quite sure this gun looks really really cool though i am excited for it let's go back and look at the assault rifles one more time i want to see if any of them are Three room burst. Automatic, 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 automatic. Dang it. Well, I think I know which is, which is the one that is going to be right here. Uh, I think it's going to be the Maiden or the Famas. I wonder which name they'll choose this here. Probably not the right one. That would totally be, you know, counter intuitive. Um, so, yeah, I'm pretty sure the Maiden is going to be the last gun there. Um, you'll see why in the video that I upload tomorrow. So. Or I might have uploaded it tonight, I'm not quite sure. I was it's definitely a toss up between intervention and resourceful or the support. Uh I'll just go through with it. I think I'm gonna go with the support. And after you see some of the things you'll see why. I'm more of an objective based player. If there's a bomb squad match, I'm always, always, always on the bomb usually. Um for any sort of zone control, I'm doing my best to help my team. And it just it adds another layer to playing video games that you don't know, like. Not everybody in first person shooters goes for the objective. A lot of people just ignore it for the kills. And while I can understand that, that's not really how I'm wired. So, one thing I am kind of, you know, weirded out by is the fact that the ops and the MC81 were released, and yet there's no slot. There's no two extra slots, and there's no way either one of them is an assault rifle. Also, we filled up our sniper category, and there's still the KR600 sitting there. And, um, also the TZ4 Compact was released, and I didn't see that anywhere either, so. Kind of interesting. I'm not quite sure what Game Loft is going to be doing with this. They better have more slots and stuff, because if they, I, I really want all of the guns that can possibly be added to this game in it. You know, and I want something like a Barrett, an automatic sniper rifle that 90% of the time is a one-hit kill. Uh, something that would be a lot of fun to snipe with. I don't want to sit there and hit the guy four times hoping to kill him, you know, after getting a headshot. It's just, it. I don't want to do that, so. I don't know, I think I'm going to end the video here. I want to thank you guys for watching, and, uh, yeah. Stay posted for more information as it is released. I'll talk to you soon, and peace.